That's it. And then you just cut it off. And that's the flay. And then you just squeeze this in here. And that releases it. And that is the flay. I remember my dad cutting a stone for to build the church wall and I was down with him a few days when I was only a small boy when he was building it. I remember that very well but I was only very small and being only six or seven year old at the time. That's a long time ago. But he built that wall all around the church, cut the stone and built the wall. It's a lovely wall like it's some unusual well built wall, I'd say. Many to one of axes. Anything to do with body work was done in this workshop. We built horse carts from the wheels to the last bit of the body work. All was done in this shop at one time. This is a machine I made for cutting steel. It was a very successful and very useful machine. And done an awful lot of work over the years. I met my wife on a visit to my uncle, and my uncle was my dad, her aunt. And I got a bit of a chatter of that day, and we arranged to go to a dance the following Sunday night, which we went to a dance in Cuthill. And our partnership lasted about two years until she went away to Scotland to be a nurse. And then we had no contact for two or three years and she finally come back on holidays but she she uh, wrote me a letter before she was coming back to tell you she was coming back and she'd like to meet me. So I met her and we went to a dance room she was home and I went out with her for the couple of weeks she was on holidays and finally she went back and done another year and then she come back at the end of that year and we had another week or two together and we finally got engaged before she finally went back to England but she went back and she only stayed another year and she came home and that was it. She stayed with me. From, we got engaged and she never went back and we got married in 1952 and we're living here since for 55 years. I built this house and we had to wait till I got the money and the time to build it before we could move into it. But we got it done eventually and we're here since. And we had three girls and five boys in our life together and they're all very well and very happy and all doing well. Thank God they're all great and very healthy. So something to be thankful for. And my wife was seriously ill for the last three or four months in and out of hospital every week or two and finally she got worse and worse and died recently. And it was a big blow to us all because she was a great woman and we miss her terror. At least when you go fishing you can try and forget for a while which you can't do sitting here in a chair in the house on your own. You just can't forget. But when you get out fishing, you can forget about it for a wee while, you know. 
I think it helps quite a bit. It's just the fact that you're, you know, doing something that you're interested in, it will lift your mind from your troubles, at least for a while. Even in the fishing, having the same activity to fish rivers is a hard when I had the power of the two hands. But thank God I'm not so bad. I can still fish a bit, but not as, to the same extent as I used to. And getting in there the boats is a bit awkward too, because you really need your two hands, which I haven't got. Oh God, I have great friends, no problem. There's always somebody come running to help me to get in and help me out. Never stuck. Never stuck. Thank God. My own family, not don't live too far away. No better friends than my own family. <laughs>